Hey, hey, you beautiful, wonderful, amazing souls. It's your favorite little keto goofball diamond. Today is day 1828 of my ketogenic journey, or two years, I mean, five years in two days, plus two days. Five years plus two days. Still hanging on with it, still going strong with it. It's been a long, hard day. We're going to get into it and talk about everything. But first, if you're interested in watching a daily ketogenic true life journey, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell, because now it's time to rant, rave, and misbehave Keto Diamond style. Yes, so, um, long, hot, hard day. Thought it was going to be, okay, fix you something. Thought it was going to be a cooler day because I'm mid-80s. Hungry. You're always hungry and lonely. I love you. Love you too. He's fine. He's just bitching because the camera's on. <laughs> um, anyway, thought it was going to be a little bit cooler. Mid-80s. <laughs> Lies. 100% chance of rain. It's raining now. <laughs> just now. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be cooler. Uh, low 80s. Will not make the same mistake again. Definitely just wearing tank tops and shorts. Don't even care if it's cold. I'll take a sweatshirt. Mm -mm. I wore it like a regular t-shirt today. Hot. But it wasn't a bad day. It was a pretty good day. Um, everything broke again. It's kind of what it does. I I'd be more, again, more amazed if it doesn't break one day. Just one day. Just one day, I would like to find out, you know, how good we could run if it doesn't break at all. Just once. I mean, ideally all the time, but <laughs> big machinery, more mo the more moving parts, the more to break. So I I've learned this lately. You know, the other job I had on the other line really didn't have much to do with machines. Um, I had a couple, um, I had a couple machines, but they were less machines and more just, I don't know, they worked. <laughs> two machines um, and basically they just involved heat and electricity and they were fine but over here oh lord no lord no there's a million and one moving parts and at least a million and two of them break every day so <laughs> but I'd, I'd just like to know what we could really do and accomplish with the right set of circumstances and nothing breaks not gonna find out this week though uh, and I only know that because we're out of half of everything we need who knows? But anyway, yesterday was a pretty decent keto day. Um, I don't record while I'm at work. I mean to, or like on the weekends, I just don't even bother with it. Mostly because I forget, to be honest with you. Um, but I think I took a salad, some pepperonis, did have one chalk zero bar with me, and um, oh, a couple of eggs. And then last night for dinner, what did I make? Hi. Of course, it's hi. <laughs> um, oh, a uh, ham and cheese roll. I think. I think that's all I made. And uh, let me go ahead and show you the weigh-ins and everything. Today morning at 172.6. Friday morning, no, Saturday morning at 172.4. Yeah, that's my lunch for tomorrow. I got to put it in the... Uh, oh, boxes um make it chicken for tomorrow <laughs> hopefully <laughs> i did make it i just haven't put it in a box yet and put it in the fridge and got it ready for tomorrow and you know all that stuff and it's getting kind of late so i really gotta hurry up and do that but i'm down 0 0.2 which is not bad considering i stand up still on my feet all day i really need to look up some ways to really help get water weight off after a long day at work and standing all the time and i know a lot of people say like retention hose and stuff like that and and, and tight stocking things. No. 
<laughs> and I only say that because it's hot as Hades in there and there will be less of my body covered as humanly possible, okay? If I can get by with it, if it skirts that dress code, I'm doing it. So damn sure ain't gonna be no long socks, no stockings, no hose. No. <laughs> I barely want to put clothes on, period. So, if she know, could go to work naked, she would. I would. I promise you, I don't even care if I make people sick. I'll jiggle it everywhere if I'm not as hot. <laughs> don't laugh at me. That's horrible. It's what you said. I'll jiggle it everywhere. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I don't like being hot. I don't like super being cold either, but... I prefer being cold over hot, though, because at least when you're cold, you can add layers. When you're hot, you can't take it That's off. right. Well, that's what I was told people the other day. I, I can't wait till it gets wintertime so I can wear three sweatpants, uh, three sweatshirts, and some long boots and bitch about being cold. I'd rather bitch about being cold. <laughs> at least I can do some jumping jacks and get the blood flowing. Fall and winter are the best times of the year. Fall gets well, like right at that perfect temperature. Late fall gets perfect here. Early fall is it's still summertime in the south. So. No, it's yes, it is. No, you only say that because it's cooler in your room and the AC works better. But outside, it's still humid and muggy and gross and it's still hot. She gonna see how far she can scoot over without being in frame. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I'm sitting on the very end of the couch and I'm still partially in frame. <laughs> Here we go. So anyway, uh, I still see her, but a little bit. Um, uh -huh. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Um, I guess that's really all I got for you guys today because, again, I got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to. I can't tell you how much I, I kick, stomp, and say, I don't want to go in there. But I want my paychecks. And yeah, it's one of those things. I just got to do it. Suck it up and deal with it. And my brain, like, every morning is like, am I sick enough to call out? No. No, you're not sick. Go to work. Well, that kind of hurt. No, no, it doesn't hurt that bad. Go to work. Uh, <laughs> it, it's mental struggle when it's hot. They've already seen the puppies. Cute. I don't want to. I don't want a puppy kisses. Oh, okay, it's kind of cute. Now go away. <laughs> I've had a bath. <laughs> cute. Yes. So she. This is a girl. This one's a girl. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, uh, I guess that's all I got for you today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. Check the description section for some cool stuff and ways to support the channel. Plus, you can contact me if you need help with your ketogenic journey. Much love. Many prayers. Bye. <laughs>